Okay, so we can now say if this is true and this is true, but what if we want to say I want run task to be true or a equals equals one to be true? Well, you just simply use the keyword or. Okay, so now only one of these statements has to be true. So before we had and and both statements have to be true. If one of them is false, then the whole statement fails. But with an or statement, only one of them has to be true for the whole statement to be true. <clears throat> if they're both false, then the whole statement is false. So in this case, we'll get the exact same result as we did earlier because run task is true and a equals equals one is true. So the or statement it will evaluate the very first one to be true. It will then do what's called short circuiting, which means it won't test that A equals equals 1 because it's inefficient to do so because we don't need to. We can just, we're happy that this is true and only one of these things has to be true. Therefore, we'll short circuit and we'll evaluate true. And so now we get our greeting. And again, if I change this to false, as we've been doing in the past, that previously would now would evaluate to false because we were using and. But now, because a still equals one, this will still yield as true. The whole statement will yield as true. And so we still get our greeting. But if the value of a equals 11 now and run task is false, so those two conditions are no longer true, the whole task will be ignored. It will be skipped, skipping, as we can see there, because the whole statement evaluates as false. So that means that we can now do clever things like or b0 equals equals 2. So we can chain these together. Now, as I was saying about the and statement, you can go run task equals equals true okay and a equals equals one there is no or here this system doesn't work with or you can't you can't go or okay it's effectively this just only permits and statements so that doesn't work with or you have to type it out or a equals equals one or b0 equals equals 2. And remember, only one of the conditions on either side of the or, and if there are multiple ors, only one of the three has to be true for the whole statement to be true. Okay? And that's how you use a very, very simple or statement.